Hey guys, uh, today I just want to share or show off my Shadow System DR920P. And uh, yeah, uh, I got it recently and initially I thought, you know, I want a kind of Gucci Glock that I don't need to care too much and I don't need to clean very often and it's, you know, uh, um, kind of a, a a toy that you don't need to you know care about it so so carefully and those kind of things and then after I got it and after I shot it more and more I ended up with really kind of uh, uh, babying it and do a lot of up, uh, doing a lot of upgrades to it and uh, I shot a lot and this is actually it you know it's becoming my most frequently uh, shotgun um yeah so let's uh take a look at what i did to it well first of all overall you know um actually before that safety check right um uh, before we talk about the, the upgrades overall this gun feels really good in hands i think it's largely related to the uh the grips shape and angle and uh, I haven't owned a, a Glock before, so I don't know what's the difference. Maybe it's the Shadow System special, you know, it's more of a, I don't know, uh, 1911's kind of a shape on the grip or whatever. And But but it feels really good in hand. And, uh, you know, you can get really high up uh, here and get really close to the, uh, to the bore line. And uh, yeah, it feels really good. It's very ergon uh, ergonomic uh just you know by by holding it in, in hand i ended up swapping and using their largest you know grip panel so and i feel that that fits my hand shape better um and uh, one thing that i was uh, disappointed a little bit was the uh uh was that my front sight got loose and uh, actually uh, flew out on my first range session after I think 50 rounds and it just flew off. And then I actually found it kind of uh, uh, about 10 feet behind me uh, right before I left the range and uh, yeah, uh, and I still found it. But you know, it came loose and then I tightened it and on the next session, it came loose again. And as you can see, there are some wear marks, you know, so I I, I kind of complained to uh, Shadow System and they are you know their service is, was really good. They um, replied to me quickly and uh, shipped me a uh, a new set of comp plus the front side very quickly. So uh, yeah, thumb up on that. Um, that was the uh, kind of a uh, unexpected, uh, but overall the gun has been shooting. Oh, actually the other thing is. It's taking a heck long time for me to break this gun in. I know it might be, uh, I might be just just one special case for me because as far as I can tell, other people had no problem breaking in their their gun, and this gun so far has gone beyond uh, one thousand rounds. You know, and even within the first one hundred or two hundred rounds. Uh, it still had the problem. So the problem is with brass cased ammo that I've been using. I, I've been using, you know, Blazer CCI um, standard factory ammo, right? Uh, 115 uh, grain and, um, you know, brass cased, very regular and popular, you know, nine millimeter. Uh, and for some reason it has feeding problem. So, it's not able to uh, um, just get stuck uh, after you've shot around and then the next round just gets stuck in uh, at the uh, feeding ramp and uh, initially it was really bad you know the first 100 round was like hell and uh, um, I uh, and it got better and better but um, um, at some point, it just will not get better. Uh, it just gets stuck there. So uh, if you put 
too many rounds, let's say more than eight rounds in the, in, in, in the mag, then it will start to have that problem. But if you have less, uh, then it, 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 it was okay. And then I found out that when I shoot uh, aluminum cased ammo, it was perfectly fine, zero malfunctions. Um, so yeah, it just happened to be that I've been shooting, you know, outdoor at a outdoor range uh, in the summertime, and um, you know, it, it, I, I'm okay with that. But I'm thinking, you know, a, as I move in to the indoor range and start to shoot brass case uh, ammo, it, it it will be a problem. So I don't know what the what the problem that is. It could be fitting, it could be whatever, but I just don't want to go through the hassle of sending um, sending the gun back to them and um, have them fix it. It takes multiple weeks and those kind of things. I don't know. So that that's one potential problem that I haven't resolved yet. Uh, We'll see. Probably, you know, after a thousand rounds, now it's better. I don't know. Last time I checked, it, it still had this kind of feeding problem for uh, brass case ammo. So that, that is one thing that's really odd. Uh, okay, let's go into the upgrades, what I did about it. So obviously, uh, let's see, where should we start? Uh, as you can see, it's black and red theme. Um, that That's what I like. And the first upgrade I did... You know, apart from the accessories, right, the 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 laser and the red dot. Um, first thing I got was the um, Tim Timney trigger, the Timney Alpha Competition trigger for Glock Gen three to Gen four, uh, and I learned from the internet that it works on Shadow System, and I tried it. It works really well, and um, um, I think it performs. I mean, it feels better than the Shadow System Factory one, um, but to be fair, the Shadow System, Shadow System Factory one, I hadn't broken it in, so I didn't really spend like uh, 200 rounds on it, uh, but the uh, uh, Timney trigger is really uh, crispy, you know, uh, and it performed, and, and I like it much better than the unbroken in <laughs> factory one maybe it's it's not fair but uh it's just my personal thing uh feels good works well the only thing i, I regret is the whatever the shoe i should have chosen a red one at that time i hadn't decided what color theme i wanted to be so i just chose a black one uh, next one is the um let's see the, yeah the tyrant designs uh the 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 mag release as well as the extended uh slide release so since i wanted extended release buttons so i just went ahead and looked for red ones so tyrant designs they made pretty good um you know extended bu buttons and it worked pretty well on shadow system uh although they are you know marketed for they're made for glock and worked fairly well pretty happy about it one thing is one thing that's really odd is tyrant's de tyrant design somehow the slide releases button the color the red is different from the uh, mag release button as you can you, you can probably tell this is a little bit lighter kind of a red right i don't know why the reason but hey tyrant designs you should make your stuff like more consistent in terms of color um, but you know, it's a minor, doesn't really bother me that much. Um, next one is the D DPM, um, systems recoil spring. Uh, I always, like I mentioned before in my other videos, I always swap or, you know, try to swap with, the uh, 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 DPM systems recoil spring whenever I can. So this is made for Glock. And uh, I tried it on, and uh, it it works. I mean, it might not be perfect, because you know, as you can see, it will stick out a little bit. If you remove the comp, you will see it stick out a little bit here. Um, but overall, it works. I mean, I can feel that the uh, recoil uh, impulse is a little bit softer. Um, 
and uh, smoother. So I think that is a win. And of course you need a break in for the uh, recoil spring because uh, it will get softer. Uh, as you pull back, you will feel like it's, it's harder, right? It's, it's heavier than the Glock, uh, than the uh, Shadow System factory spring. And after some breaking time, it, it, feels, it feels better. Um, that is expected. And also, if you read the uh, DPM system spring, since they have like three parts uh, design as the slide moves, uh, backwards, the uh, the the total spring weight will be, you know, heavier and heavier, and that kind of explains it. It gets heavier, more heavier than than than, um, than the factory one. So that explains why it's kind of a, at the beginning it's a little bit hard to lock back, lock at the back, and then now is, it's okay. It, I I don't have any problem locking it, uh, at at, at the back. So that's another thing. And overall, I'm pretty happy about that. And um, yeah, again, to be fair, you know, for the factory uh, recoil spring, I didn't spend enough time to break it in. So who knows? Um, yeah. And to make more stuff to be read, I purchased a couple of other things. So for example, this uh, mag base plate for 4 Mag. They are made by um, a company called The Gun Company. Uh, they are pretty much the only company that I can find online that offers the red uh, base plate for, for PMAG Glock. Um, overall, the quality looks good. I mean, I dropped it on the ground and the uh, the, the coating didn't, didn't come off. So uh overall I'm, you know it's fine but i had a hard time installing it it's supposed to be machined exactly to uh magpul p p mag gl9 glock magazine but however i i purchased two of them and i had two of these p mags and they both have the same problem no matter which plate i put on well which mag the problem is is uh, as you slide on to the, the mag, it just won't, this button, right, it won't click. It won't come out, no matter how hard I, 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 I push. Uh, so I concluded that it's just a machining kind of problem. So to fix, to kind of to mitigate it, as you can see, I, I uh, removed a little bit of material from the, uh, from, from the mag uh, button here so that uh, I, I just filed a little bit of or, or cut a little bit of material off and then it was able to you know fully fit that is a uh, you know a minus one for the gun company i don't know whether they have really tested it i believe it's a defect from their side if they have tested it they should have seen because this is regular pmag and this is i um that their, their, their product. And I, I've tried two of them on two of my Macs. They both have the same problem. So, um, yeah, um, not 100% happy, but say 90% happy. Uh, that, that's my only uh, choice. I mean, it would match better if Tyrant Design makes, you know, the same kind of plate for PMAC, but they don't. Um, and the other thing, the red thing is, you know, the, uh, the there's a pin here and uh, there's a, you know, pin here uh, and there is, um, what do you call it, a slide, slide lock release. So those three things are also red. I, I, I purchased on eBay. I think they are called the Cross Armory, so you can just look them up on, on eBay. Uh, they're okay, uh, but as you can see, some of the red paint is coming off here. So may maybe the coating technology is not you know very good, but they're they're cheap. Uh, the 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 pr price is cheap and uh, it works. And uh, oh, the other thing is that this release is extended, it's angled, so it's bigger than the uh, factory one. Uh, I I believe the Shadow System used the standard Glock factory one, and since it's standing out, since it's standing out is easier it makes it easier for me to kind of uh, uh 
pull it down and uh, remove the slide. So that is a you know that 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 is a plus. Lastly, but not least, my uh, in kind of in-house built thumb rest. Uh, I because although I love this gun, I had a problem of using this this part you know as the uh, thumb rest because I, as I hold it really tight and as it uh, you know jumps, my thumb often falls out just like this. It, I was not able to get a super solid grip as if I had a thumb rest. So that, that bothered me a lot. I know I'm just an amateur. I'm not a, a pro. I, I know people will say, hey, if you you know have a proper grip, if you practice more and uh, you know, if everything is correct, this shouldn't bother you, yada, yada, yada. But you know, it, 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 it's just me, right? I just want a thumb rest and then uh, just enjoy that feeling of full grip and then you know be able to control the recoil and uh, you know shoot flat so therefore you know i went off uh, to find some solutions on my own so essentially this particular pin i think it's called trigger pin right is m4 size so basically you just find a uh, a kind of a long screw. Uh, I think this is about 35 millimeter, and then you can find half threaded uh, online, so that the, the the first half is like solid, the second half is like threaded, so that you don't have to have you know because I would like to have as much solid material inside the gun to perform as a pin, uh, not the entire one as a you know screw uh, screw per se. So this goes in and I, I added a washer here because you want the washer to be able to spread that pressure evenly uh, on more area surface size so that it doesn't really grind and damage your frame uh, surface, it doesn't leave a mark. And then on this side, basically you just find an M4 kind of a screw. And uh, this is custom made, kind of custom made. You can find them online. If you're interested, leave me a comment I, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know where to get them. They offer, th this is aluminum. They offer different colors, a lot of options to choose from. So basically you add a washer as well uh, to prevent damage. And then you just uh, screw it on M4 size and then you put some um, yeah, put some Loctite and then you, you screw it on, just hand tight is sufficient. And then after 24 hours, it just is solid. Um, so I've shot this for one session, about 200 rounds so far. And I was really, really happy about it. I just enjoy that feeling of having a solid thumb rest and it can, you know, man, it's day and night difference um yeah that's my uh i would say that 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 is the biggest kind of uh upgrade quote unquote for me so far it's better than the recoil spring upgrade it's better than the trigger upgrade it's better than any kind of ex the extension buttons that i did this is the most effective thing that completely changed my uh shooting experience of course this makes it a uh range toy you know you won't be able to find a <laughs> holster that can accommodate it but you know i don't care it's a range toy i don't need a holster and this is not my home defense gun um i just want to have fun at the range and yeah i ended up really liking this gun and still end up with uh, you know cleaning, deep cleaning, you know, oil it really well after every single shooting session. Didn't anticipate this gun to be as uh, that much fun uh, as it is. So anyhow, this is a, a really good gun and uh, I, I enjoyed it. I always like the concept that you can have an easily detachable comp. And I really hate the traditional one that you need to have like set screws, you need to have uh, Loctite and then they still go, go loose after some time, especially under high temperature and all those kind of things. So uh, I really, I'm really happy and I have a lot of respect to Shadow System that they came out with this concept and uh, following the trend. Um, 
so yeah uh overall good job Sh shadow system and uh, that's about it thank you for uh thank you for viewing and uh, see you next time